Hello everybody. Um, it is almost nine at night over here. It's about four hours later than I usually make these videos, more or less. And I am wearing my I am so glad it's Friday night hairdo. Namely, I just put it up in a bun as high as I can manage on my head to get it out of the way. Um, I am beyond tired, but I really wanted to make a video and not skip a week, so here I am. Um, okay, so TTC-wise, I have kind of not... I mean, I have kept up with my chart. I'm totally writing down symptoms and keeping track of my CM and whatnot. Uh, but I have kind of lost track of what DPO it is. I think I'm, I'm 5 DPO. Okay, let's go with that. I'm 5 DPO. I, I, well, somewhere around there. I know that I would, if AF got here, excuse me, it's probably going to be next Sunday. So, the 6th of March. Anywho, I got some confusing EWCM on cycle days 14 and 15, which is, to the best of my knowledge, a first for me. And I say to the best of my knowledge because I have often had these symptoms that I think, wait a minute, that has not happened before. And I don't know, and I end up with a BFN at the end of the months. Also, our timing was not fantastic. It's just very time consuming to um, to be building the house or starting with the renovations. Already it's taking a toll on our, like, what's the word? <laughs> Stamina? <laughs> I don't know, fill in the blank with a nice word, not from the gutter word. Um, also, I wanted to put this out there and, and maybe would like to pick your brains as to, I mean, there's a very fun, fine line, sorry, between well-timed BDing and chore-like BDing. And um, we are very go, 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 go these days. And so if we want to make time for us, it needs to be kind of like, we both need to be aware. You can't just let it happen, you know? And we are taking a more relaxed approach. Believe me, we are. But um, yeah, I mean, you just kind of want to at least try once and probably the timing is not going to be the best it could be. But you know, so yeah, my husband and I, we both want to have these, these moments be something that, you know, are kind of special and not chore-like. And I know... Um, I've heard you guys, and I, I can't come up with who exactly, but I've heard this before, and I just, maybe if you have any thoughts on it, on how to try and <laughs> keep the romance into the whole business. Um, so yeah, that was one thing. Um, this week has been, an, okay, TTC done, moving over to the rest of my life, which can be pretty much summed up by the house thing. <laughs> Um, we are drowning in quotes and catalogs, and this is one catalog, and I have more catalogs and design magazines, and, and more quotes for heating and electricity, and we have to make all these huge decisions. Uh, and you know what? I think with everything in life, and especially with things that are like big things, you need to... Um, Try to take them one day at a time because if it's like if you're at the, at the total at the bottom of a huge big mountain that you have to climb. And uh, if you look at the whole thing, it's just going to feel like it's going to fall on top of you. And I think you just need to, you know, start taking decisions, taking decisions, making decisions, making decisions, just, just small decisions every day that build up to this whole thing kind of like I always think of myself climbing up this huge thing and just just keep one foot in front of the next you know or well you don't climb well anyhow you get what I mean so yeah we're trying to do that this week we have gotten one quote for the kitchen which came in really really well but within budget um 
we've got it we went to ask for another quote today the reason why I'm making this video now is because generally I come straight from work but today I went to meet my husband at his work and then we went to ask for a quote for the kitchen in this place that I'm not they seemed annoyed that we wanted them to quote for us and I think, you know, if I'm going to spend several thousand euros at your store, you might want to take a tour of the showroom with me and probably offer me a cup of coffee. What do you think? So yeah, I was not very impressed by their uh, salesmanship, but we'll see. Uh, I think we're probably going to go with the IKEA wrap for the kitchen, frankly. Uh, we've come up with a very nice design, at least that we think is very nice, very handy. We're quite happy with it. Um, also, major news, the contractor called last weekend, said he had an opening. Originally, he was going to come this week, already to bring down one wall, move a doorway, um, put in some beams because we're moving other wall, you know. So... Uh, but in the end, we, in order to make structural changes, obviously you need to work with an engineer. And the engineer that we're working with is late with his calculations. So the first major lesson that I've learned in this process is, you know, you have people come over and you might even really like them. But in the end, work ethics-wise, you know, I'm the kind of person that I need a deadline. I need to know, okay, I need to be ready by then. I am the ultimate procrastinator. So I need to know, I need to have a dateline. And I think with these people, any kind of person that you work with, you need to make sure that they are on your schedule, not the other way around. So he had said originally like two to three weeks. Well, yeah, but where, you know? So now it had been two weeks on uh, Wednesday and my husband called him up. I was like, oh yeah, but I had said in the, at the end of the month, it's like a uh, newsflash, end of the month. So yeah, well, I can, if I really try hard, I will, I'll be like ready with the first set of calculations by Friday. And so yeah, if my husband hadn't called, I don't even know that he would have. And the guy thing is we like the guy, but I think don't let other people that you're working with say, well, two to three weeks, I'll give you your quote or I'll have this ready. You say, I need it by blank. And maybe to some extent that will also help you with the planning of your sanity because we like you have to call in for so many referrals and whatnot so yeah uh, we have decided on a floor well flooring actually for the ground floor we're gonna go with polished concrete uh, and we are kind of happy with also it's the most cost-effective option and both my husband and I really like the look of it um, yeah anyhow i guess that uh wraps it up we are uh, i'm not i don't think i'm going to be testing this month frankly um uh schedule sorry af is scheduled to get here if we follow my uh most recent patterns on the 6th of march so that's one week from sunday and uh yeah we'll see um yeah, I am not, I'm not going to do that to myself. I don't need more stress. <laughs> but the two-week wait, yeah, I already made this video, so maybe I'm repeating myself. I'm sorry, I don't remember if I said this now. But um, there's this definite feeling that is coming back to me of, uh, like, when I plan things for, with, for the summer and stuff, I'm definitely thinking, like, well, I'll be pregnant by then. Or surely I'll be pregnant by then. Or next... Please, dear God, don't let me be jinxing myself. Um, or by uh, next spring, I'm like, I already have a baby or I'll be hugely pregnant kind of thing. That's So it leads me to believe that the inner workings of my brain are kind of like saying, lady, enough with this whole taking it easy thing. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think... February already, I was like thinking, well, and now I'm so pooped with the whole house thing that I'm thinking, man, am I ever glad I'm not exhausted with first tri first tri trimester? <sighs> I'm tired. Um, symptoms and, and, and stuff. But um, okay, so my husband is going to be out of the country for 
Mm, okay. It's going to be out of the country for one week in March, one week in April, and possibly one week in May. The week in March falls well, falls well because it's probably when AF is going to be here, so that works out. April, fertile window, he's going to be gone, and May possibly also. So if we don't conceive in March, that puts me in at June, and that is kind of freaking me out, man. Uh, yeah. Okay, you guys. Uh, on the blog, there's still really nothing up there, so I don't want to send you like a. Or I really appreciate the interest. I'm so grateful that you guys are willing to go uh, read about our ramblings and 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 stuff. I've said stuff a lot, huh? But uh, I I don't want you to go look at nothing. So once it's up and running, it actually looks like something that I would want to show people. I'll tell you. Um, so I will update you guys next week, um, possibly on Mon on sorry not on Friday of next week but on Sunday, uh, since that's when AF should show up and I'd have a little bit more to say because on Friday I'll be I'll still be in limbo land. I wanted to congratulate Jenny from Candy Mommy on your BFP. Woohoo! Um, I am very very excited for you, and um, I want to. Um, Still tell the people out there who are suffering losses that I am thinking of you and um, just know that there is good thoughts coming your way and uh, healing thoughts. Um, okay, you guys, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, till next time, bye-bye.